What is your name? Dylan. What's your name? Paul. Paul, it's nice to meet you. Who's this? Who am I? Mommy. Mom, tell me your favorite thing about Paul. His smile. He loves to smile, and he's always got a smile for people when they need one. Condition is name, um, or the most popular name is Glass Syndrome, which is after Dr. Ian Glass, um, who you know first uh, reported a case many many years ago in 1989. Uh, now we're using more the term SATB2, SATB2 associated syndrome, uh, which is the name of the gene, the SATB2 gene. Mom, if somebody wants to form a positive bond with your daughter, how do they start? Do what she wants. <laughs> do exactly what she wants. Don't push her to do something outside of her expectations. And it's uh, primarily a, what we call neurodevelopmental condition. So it primarily affects uh, how brain develops and how, um, you know, from children to adulthood, how um, they have perhaps difficulties uh, learning and particularly communicating. Not hearing his voice. Or um, him calling out to dad or sister or brother. Not, uh, not being able to um, express his sadness or his feelings too well. That's, um, that's probably the most hurtful as a parent. There's different ways you can get the syndrome. So, you know, you can get a little single one letter misspelled within the gene. Uh, there are some that have, you know, chunks of the same gene missing. And there are some others that have that gene plus other genes missing around it. Um, and there are some that even have that extra gene, that gene extra, but it, it kind of messes up how the gene works. You have a nonverbal child. I feel like I've learned how to read her mind, that I'm her, I, I could add footnotes to her every thought, or at least so I think. If you could record a message that played for each parent who had a child diagnosed with this condition, what would you want to say? Okay. Um, I would say, uh, hanging there, uh, we're um, learning tons of new information. Um, it, you know, we have a lot of positive things going on, uh, really strong community. Um, it really has exponentially um, expanded uh, the support group, the research, the science, and I think that is all coming together very nicely. Mom, what is your biggest hope for how society treats Paul? I hope they treat him no differently than they would anybody else. Um, we have been very fortunate at schools. Um, he has peer tutors and it seems like the, the regular ed population accepts him as he is and includes him and, and activities and play and um, just treat them like a normal anybody else.